if you're a company that's worried about the future growth of your industry to the point where you're being forced to do layoffs because you're worried about said growth, you'd think it would be business 101 to not alienate your audience, not alienate your customers, your consumers. But apparently for Microsoft and Xbox, they do not care. It seems like they're more than willing to employ people who will actively push away one of the most important groups of people in gaming. And Phil Spencer, Microsoft Gaming CEO, pretty much came out and admitted this the other day, that one of the reasons for the layoffs is because they are worried about the future growth of the industry. Well, if you really are worried about that, maybe you shouldn't hire people who say things like this. This is a screenshot from the quarter, and this was going around a few days ago from Kelly Lombardi. Raise your hand if you're not a white man and you buy video games not to hate white dudes. It's just another day in the gaming industry that minorities have to fight to prove they exist. Now, this did not go over well for her, especially when people found out that this is the global head of marketing for Xbox. And you can see here, eventually, she deleted that tweet. Microsoft Global Gaming Manager deleted her tweet after Madam Savvy corrects her. I know it's not accurate. I never said it was. This is how they think. Facts don't matter to the narrative. Now, again, it's interesting because Savvy follows up and says, why did you feel the need to phrase the tweet like this? Why can't you just see raise your hand if you like games? Are you aware the largest demographic of gamers is Asian, not white men? What fight is happening today? And of course, she follows up. I know the graphic information isn't accurate. I never said it was. Immediately, this person goes protected. They issue an apology. They get destroyed for that as well because it seems all too commonplace in the gaming industry right now for people to feel more than comfortable talking shit about white dudes. You can see the follow-up. I love the lock and ratio. I deleted my last tweet because it was poorly worded, lacked context, and didn't accurately reflect how I feel. The gaming industry is incredibly diverse, and the more voices we have creating, watching, and playing games, the better. There's room for everyone. Well, there certainly seems to be a group of people, a group of gamers, that are under attack each and every day from people in the industry, and it's very clear at this point who they are. Now, she, as of this point, still has her account protected, and this is something we see over and over and over again when it comes to game developers, games journalists. They say something, they get absolutely annihilated, they get fucking destroyed, and then they go into hiding and pretend like they're the victims. Well, somebody else caught wind of this, and that was Elon Musk. Elon Musk reacts to Xbox global product marketing managers' objectionable comments. It should not be acceptable for any company in the gaming industry to be racist and sexist against white guys. And uh, it all comes because of this screenshot. Initially, we just went over the post. We just went over the responses. The post was screen capped by The Quartering, who wrote, Meet the Global Head of Marketing for Xbox. Then shared by Ashley St. Clair, who wrote, This is a massive problem, and it's widespread throughout the entire gaming industry. And then Elon with the big follow-up. Elon, who has been heavy about DEI. Elon, who has been already been critical of Sweet Baby Inc., things like this. Elon decides to share this out there. It should not be acceptable for any company in the gaming industry to be racist and sexist against white guys. And you know, probably shouldn't be, especially when that does make up a pretty important demographic of gamers, if we're being honest. Yet continually, over and over again, what have we seen? over the last couple weeks, over the last month, really, with this whole Gamergate 2, whatever people actually want to call this, the Sweet Baby Inc. controversy, we are seeing people come out in droves to bash gamers, specifically if they're straight white males. Yeah, people saying, this industry doesn't belong to you anymore. We're taking it over. And then they get destroyed, and then they play victim. And keep in mind, all of this started with an attack from game developers on gamers. And we have just seen them continue to embarrass themselves over and over and over again. Game devs and game journalists working hand in hand against gamers. The differences that between this and 10 years ago, there's a lot of other people, a lot of pretty influential people and pretty popular people that are standing up for gamers, including one of the most influential people in the world, Elon Musk. And he continues to slam these people who continue to ruin the gaming industry with their identity politics. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.